Hello everyone, I'm Simone, tech specialist at Kilobeard. In today's video, I want to show you how you can use a dynamic DNS service in order to get your Kilolink Server Pro domain name instead of an IP address. This is really practical, especially if you have lots of devices and you have a lot of users that has to access the server. So no further hesitation and let's have a look on how to make this. All right, this is our P3 mini. And as you can see, I've connected to my Killing Server Pro. This on top is our static IP address provided by, by our cloud instance. If we want to translate this into a domain name, we can use something like no IP. Once you've signed it up for the first time with your username and password, you can click login. We go on the left menu and click on Dynamic DNS. The first voice is no IP host name. Here we're gonna configure our host name for our static IP address. Okay, go on create host name. And here we can decide over various domain for this specific tutorial I'm going to use ddns.net and I will rename this like kilolink server pro .ddns.net. We're going to use the IP address of my server which is the following one here. I will going to click on create hostname. Okay, once we have done this, basically we have binded this dynamic DNS to this IP address. What does it mean? Actually, we can copy this domain name and log in the Kilolink Server Pro without putting the IP address again. Let me show you this. If we go log out now, and we paste it out our domain name and press enter, Here you go. You seen it? We're now logging with uh, our domain name. And we can do login as we did with our IP address. This is really convenient because we can also do this on the terminal side. So at this moment, we're still using the IP address, but we can translate this into the domain name. We click on the bonding button in order to disable the encoder to our server. As you can see, we are disconnected now. If we press on the cogwheel again, we can paste it, the domain name, and press OK. If we click on bonding again, you will see we'll be again online. This is really, really interesting because we can connect multiple devices at the same time without even remember the IP address, but just remember this domain name. And it's even easier to spread to our customers and clients for every stream. In fact, if I create an SRT stream, for example, and I'm gonna add the stream, I'm gonna select SRT, I'm gonna give it a name like SRT, easy as that, and press OK. You will figure it out. Instead of having the IP address, I now have my domain name. I can just copy this out, click on VLC, and simple as that, get the VLC in, paste, and click play. And here we go. We get the streaming coming from our server with just the domain name. Hey, but before I forget, we have an exclusive promotion from November 18th to December 31st over our P3 and P3 mini. Did I mention that? Have a look on it. So you can save a bunch of money if you buy a P3, for example, you will have a save up to $298 buying two 5G modems and get two 4G modems for free or taking three 4G modems and one for free. 
If you have P3 Mini instead, you can save up $199 and get a free license of Kiloview Intercom Server Pro. You have a 30-day free trial access to our cloud-based Kilolink Server Pro, so you don't have to get anything like a server on your own or get your cloud instance. You can test it out our server for 30 days for free. You also have a 15% discount up to $105 on our decoder series, the D350 and RD350. And you will have a 30-day risk-free guarantee. So you can test your product, do your streaming, and whenever you're not satisfied, you can be refound within 30 days. No question asked. Hope you like this video and stay tuned for more to come. You can always reach us at www.kiloview.com or for any technical support, send us an email to support at kiloview.com. See you in the next one.